Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Stephanie Nicole H. So I am doing another wig review. This is going to be Janet Collection, Natural Me, Jody. So keep watching. So if you've been tuning into my channel, you know that I recently cut my hair into a pixie cut, which I've always wanted to do. But Jana Collection sent me a wig to review, so I am going to do that today. So again, this is Jana Collection Natural Me Jody, And uh, this is a lace wig, 100% premium fiber. I got an ombre color today, so we're doing some color. Um, so this has a deep part lace and um, special knotting on the back of the nape, ear to ear soft Swiss lace. As far as the color that I got, I got OET 1B30. So again, it's an ombre color. And let us take this out. So it says it has a natural hairline with a natural yappy texture. So here is the insert card. All right, so this is the color. So the dark roots and then going down to a color 30. This to me looks more like a 33 than a 30 like more of a red undertone than blonde, but okay. So specs of this unit. So it does have the ear to ear lace in the front and has two combs. So on both sides of the parting line and then also in the back adjustable straps and then one part at the nape of the neck. So this is gonna be super cute. I'm excited to put this on, which I will do in just a second. So I just put on a nude stocking cap and um, since my hair is cut, I did not have to braid it or wrap it or anything. So quick and easy for that. So let us get into putting on this wig. So first I'm just gonna start by putting some edge control around my edges and I'm using the same edge control I normally use, Edge Booster. So I'm just putting that around my edges and using my little edge brush and brushing my edges. I want my hairline to be as natural as possible, so that is the reason that I'm leaving my edges out. And I'm just tucking those flyaways back under the stocking cap. So now I'm just gonna take my tweezers and I'm only going to pluck at the very front of the part. And I don't want to go too overboard. I just want to take out a few hairs. And again, I'm only doing that at the very front of the part. The rest of the part was perfectly fine. And now I'm just removing those plucked hairs and I'm going to go back in and pluck a little more. And this whole process is completely optional. I just saw that the front of the part was a little heavy and I wanted to take some of those hairs out. So I did. So now on the underside of the unit, I'm just gonna take some concealer and put it in that parting area. And with my applicator, I'm just brushing that directly on the lace. And I just want the parting area to be more of my skin tone, so that's the reason that I'm putting the concealer on it. So as you can see, it now has a more natural looking color in that parting area. So now I'm just gonna take my tiny scissors and cut off the lace in the front. And this step, it is absolutely crucial not to cut into the hairline. 
So take your time and just cut right in front of those hairs. So it was hard for me to really show this on camera and I knew it would be even more difficult to cut the lace while it was on my head. All right, so now that I have all the lace cut off, I can go ahead and apply the unit to my head. And I'm just gonna adjust the placement just so that the unit sits right behind my hairline and my edges are out. I absolutely love these curls and the yakky texture in this unit really makes this unit very full. So if you like big hair, you will love this unit. I'm really happy that I decided to get color with this unit. It really complements my skin tone and is perfect for the fall season. So now I'm just trying to tussle those curls to make them not so uniform, but you don't wanna do it too much to pull them out. And I did notice that there is some shedding. And then there's some more shedding and some more shedding, but this is a synthetic unit, so there you have it. And it very well may be me plugging the parting line or cutting off the lace in the front, but I do believe that this unit does shed quite a bit. So now I'm just taking some powder with a brush and just brushing that powder on that parting line. So I don't know if you can tell or not, but the dark hair at the top right by the parting line is extremely fuzzy. So I'm just going to brush it down just a little bit and then apply some heat with my dryer. And I'm gonna do the same exact thing on the other side as well as in the back. This unit is heat safe up to 400 degrees. I'm not comfortable with applying direct heat to it. So that's why I'm using the dryer just holding it um, maybe an inch or two away from my head. And this is a personal preference as well. You can always skip this step if you like the way the unit looks straight out the pack. And now that I'm done with that part, I'm just going to readjust the unit to my hairline and then tussle those curls just a little bit more. So now let me turn around so you can see all the angles. So I'm not gonna stop there. I also wanna see what it looks like as a side part. So this is a left side part, even though it looks the opposite on camera. So now I'm just gonna flip it over to the other side and see what it looks like as a right part. This unit is so versatile. I actually love it all three ways. All right guys, so that is it for Janet Collection's Natural Me Jody. Make sure you check out one of my previous videos. I did another review on one of Janet Collection Natural Me um, wigs. It was Kaja, it was a black, um, long straight wig so make sure you check that out I'll put that down in the description box below but as far as this unit if you like big hair you will love this unit um, the texture is very natural as you can see when I was installing the unit it does have shedding it sheds 
quite a bit um, and yeah, just pulling on it now, I'm getting a few hairs now. But um, so I would not suggest this as like an everyday wig, um, but I mean, it is cute, like for a special occasion or something. This unit runs about $30 um, and I will put some links down in the description box as far as um, websites that I know who sell it. So also um, did want to let you know that this unit is safe, um, heat safe up to 400 degrees. Um, so you can curl it. Um, as you can see when I was installing, I was blow drying it. Um, just to get the hump out where the parting line is. But this unit is so super cute. And I actually really love the color. I think it complements my skin. Um, so <laughs> this is my second time trying color on my channel. Usually I'm jet black all the way. But um, I really like this. I will probably be trying some more of these units by The Natural Me. Um, they are just so cute and convenient. The fact that you do not have to glue the unit down, it's, it's an option. I mean, you can if you want, or you can just cut off that lace like I did, and then just um, put on a stocking cap, and um, you're good to go. I have seen other YouTubers um, cut the baby hairs and lay those down, but I just left out my own edges and worked with those, but uh, this is so cute. I will say the only drawback with this wig is the shedding. It sheds a lot. But other than that, this is a very pretty unit. Um, I think it would be pretty in other colors as well, but this ombre is doing something for me right now. <laughs> but let me turn around. And I want to get a close up so you can see the texture. So it's kind of like a yaggy texture. So it's not silky straight whatsoever. Um, and I like that. Also, um, you don't want to pull out the curls too much um, because then it will get matted or tangled super easily just because of the texture. But this is so cute, Janet Collection. I cannot wait to review more of these Natural Me units. They are just so pretty and natural looking. Natural Me. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this video. So if you are new, if you are viewing this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Please help me reach my goal. I'm trying to get 500 subscribers by Christmas. So, hit that subscribe button. And that is it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed. Make sure you hit that notification bell so you do not miss a thing. I have a few ideas that I am brewing up that I cannot wait to share with you all. So I will see you all next time.